<laughs> That's All the start right. of the video. That's the word. It's got to. It's got to. Okay, so Ben, um, I wanted to sit and chat with you a little bit today about what your philosophy of programming is and what does programming mean to you and more importantly, what does it mean to our members and how they should approach uh, their workouts and what they see on the whiteboard when they walk in the door. Right. So when I sit down each week to break it down or what I'm trying to do, the big goal is get everybody to a point where they can move their bodies at maximum intensity. To do that, we have to get some uh, foundation blocks built in first. And we do that by working on our mechanics. And when we say mechanics, we're talking about form, um, technique, any way you want to word that. And then once we know what that form and technique is, we've practiced it enough, we kind of have that idea of what we're supposed to be doing, we want to be consistent with it. We want to be able to do that, repeat that movement in that manner um, for not just one rep, but you know, 60, 70, 80 reps. Um, even when we're really tired with our heart rate up at 190, we want to be able to keep that technique in form. Once we have the mechanics, the consistency down, then we can start introducing more and more intensity. And intensity can look like more volume, maybe we're doing more reps, or uh, increased weight, um, could even be just more intense, difficult movements that you can start uh, being exposed to. And once we get to a certain level of intensity, we pull the curtains back and we start back over again. We're at a higher level now. Oh, sure. So, um, so for an example, today um, some of the girls are thinking about doing a um, weightlifting meet. They did an imam of 20 reps of um, cleans. They worked on cleans today. And uh, they started at, you know, probably a warm-up weight and slowly went up in weight so they got to their one rep max or potentially even even their, um, even a PR. Um, so the goal for that is to work on mechanics. Right. And they started at the lower weight and really smoothed out those mechanics. And then as the mechanics, they're allowing for their mechanics to be really good. And yes. these girls aren't brand new. They've been cleaning right. for a while. So this is not the every person's workout. And then the weight started going up. And as the weight started going up, they had to go faster. Right. So I think of uh, increasing that, you know, trying to get to the fastest and the heaviest that you can be. To me, that's intensity. Right. Is the fastest and the heaviest that you can do with good mechanics. Right. So that's what they did is they trained at these lower weights, training their mechanics, and then in the last you know, 20 or five minutes of it, that's when they really started challenging their consistency. So in a 20 minute time period, we've got all of CrossFit in a nutshell. You know, that's, that's really, you know, we work the form, we improve the form, and then we challenge the form. Yeah. Exactly, super simple. So let's go back to then your programming and what it means for our members. Because this, as coaches, we get this. We've been preached mechanics, intensity, or, or excuse me, uh, mechanics, consistency, intensities for the past 10 years. Right. So um, in real life terms, what does it mean when we're looking at the whiteboard? At the whiteboard, the way you're doing the day. Program, Someone right. walks into the gym, they look at the board, where's, what are we doing that day? Okay, so. Um, we start off with crossover symmetry, our basic warm-up stuff, all those things. It's just getting our body warm and ready, the joints lubricated, all those things ready to move well. Then we'll go into you know, our ninja work, strength work, or uh, practice work, really, whatever that is. And that second piece that we play with, it's a little different for everybody, or it can be different for everybody. Um, let's use today's workout, for example. It's uh, deadlifts and dumbbell bench press, right? For me, I'm going to be able to go kind of heavy on that deadlift. I've been deadlifting a lot. If you know me, I really like deadlifting. And uh, dumbbell bench is fine too. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do the heaviest weight I can on all of those only because I've had experience within 10 years of doing those movements. Um, for someone brand new, he's going to be holding up just one weight. He's just going to do one weight for that in all four of those sets. And he's going to really focus on what is he doing? How is he sliding his hips back? Are the knees pushed out? Are the hips stable? Is his weight in his heels? Is his lats engaged? Does he have all those things? 
And the beauty of it is we're both going to get exactly what we need out of that session. And let me throw myself in there because I'm in between. I've got good mechanics, but I've had some injuries in my life. I'm, you know, the mobility and certain things. My back could be stronger, blah, blah, blah. What I would, I would do is not go as heavy. Um, what more likely is if I go too heavy, my mechanics will break down in a flash. Really quick. So I got good mechanics. I don't have to worry about the mechanics as much, although I always have my mind on it. Um, but I'm not going to challenge myself to go too heavy to throw my mechanics off. Absolutely. And it, would, it wouldn't it would serve you well in any way, shape, or form. All we're doing is, is we're pulling back all those good layers we've done. And really, it's just it's hurting us when we do those things, when we try right. to break down. It, it sounds awesome in the moment. I'm going to try to PR really quick. You know, maybe even, you know, you're, you're the one before that, you know, felt good, but you weren't really sure. Right, right, And you're right, like, right. Eh, maybe I rounded a little at the top. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up again. I want right. to see. And then, you know, we've, then we have a pulled back. Right. You know, our erectors are spazzed. Our erectors are spazzed. I think we have to understand that numbers are just units of measurement. That's we should have is. no emotional involvement with a freaking number. Oh, none. It's just a number. Time is just a unit of measurement right. and it doesn't make us good or bad people. It doesn't make us weak or strong relative to us as human beings. You know, when somebody says, hey Ben, who are you? You don't say, well, I'm a guy that deadlifts, you know, uh, what is that? It doesn't matter. Whatever. You know, a lot of weight, you know, and then I'm like, well, I'm a piece of shit because I can't you know, deadlift all that weight. You know, it's my weight, it's your weight. These are relative numbers. Exactly. So if you sacrifice your body, which is who you are, right. this is what takes you where you need to go and gets you out of bed in the morning. If you sacrifice that for a stupid little number, the point is being missed. Yes.